Hey everybody, happy Tuesday to you. Uh, let's see, it's the 7th of um, October. And I showed you the other day the model I was making out of styrofoam for the big boat. And so I've completed it and I'm doing a float test right now to see how it looks sitting on its lines. So it's again, styrofoam model, you know, not Harishoff wood <laughs> carved and sanded, but it gave me a rough idea of what the boat would look like sitting on its lines. So, again, the boat is 50 foot, 7 inches, and so the model, scaled down version, is 25 inches and a quarter of an inch. So that's 1 to 24. So a uh, friend of mine on YouTube, Mads, props out to Mads, uh, helped me uh, confirm that the scaled down weight of a 31,000 pound vessel um, at that length should be around 2.2 pounds. And so I've done that. And I've got some unconventional ballast. I've got some baking soda and Betty Crocker cake mix. But let's take a look at it. So there's the boat sitting in a cooler water. And if you can see, this is the upper chine, the design upper chine. Runs back and it's almost parallel to the boat, even though this model still isn't exactly 100%. But it sits pretty good. And underneath of that, there's a second chine, um, which uh, will then take, <clears throat> will be the bottom of the boat. And it's sitting pretty well. I like the way it sits. Again, this model isn't, you know, 100% exact, but it's pretty good in terms of what my expectations were. One thing I did notice, in order to get it to trim right, a good portion of the weight has to be aft. Even though this baking soda is pretty heavy, sitting pretty much dead center. About where, <clears throat> a little bit more, that's about at the 40% mark in the mast, would be probably right about here on the boat. So. You know, the engine and all the tanks and stuff is pretty much behind that area. So this is pretty accurate in terms of what the volume of the boat would be. Of course, it would be much lower. Uh, in my mind, I was going to take a pipe of some sort of a um, iron pipe or I was thinking about even using some rolls of quarters and kind of taping them to the bottom to get the center of gravity low where it really should be. But I guess for this example, just to see how it floats doesn't make a bit of difference. So that's the model of the hull and the float test and she's floating pretty good on her lines again. I am happy. So till next time, peace and blessings. Let's take one more look.